All right, today we're going to do some snowshoeing around Mystery Hill, which is also the site of America's Stonehenge, which is the site of a set of uh, rock sculptures, structures, and caves built supposedly thousands of years ago. The uh, trailhead is off of Haverhill Road in North Salem, about a mile from a uh, mile south of Route 111 in Derry. Now we're short on time, so we can't visit everything, so I'll have to come back. But it's been easily over 10 years since I was last here. So this will be a good refresher. Can't believe it took me this long to come back. We're just going to go to the uh, Solstice site and back. Anyway, if I, see something, yeah, if I see something interesting, I'll point it out to you. Alright, apparently we do pass by some of these uh, odd uh, chambers and walls and structures. Let's see. Got a neat little cave in there. Nice. I go in it, but there's a sign saying, please keep off chambers and walls, so I'll respect their rules. After all, this place is freaking ancient. And I kind of agree with them that about the keeping people away from the chambers and the walls, because all it takes is one uh, Yahoo hoodlum type person to just knock everything over and ruin it for the rest of us. So I'll just enjoy it from afar. Please stay off chambers and walls. Alrighty. Anyway, I believe the solstice site is a, uh, and the summit of Mystery Hill is up there. Anyway, if I see something interesting, I'll point it out to you. All right, welcome to the solstice site. Looks like some really interesting uh, sites here. And the uh, people at the information desk in the main building said you can't wear snowshoes in here, so I'll stash them here for now. Anyway, let's go inside. When I was driving by here, I remember reading on a hiking website that this place may be seasonally closed, so I was extremely thrilled when I drove by here and found that the place is open year-round. Closed as a five, so I gotta be down by five, lest I get uh, locked in. Wow. Yeah, you can see why they call this place America Stonehenge. While it doesn't bear a ton of resemblance to the uh, Uh, Stonehenge in uh, UK, but still, real uh, ancient engineering oddity. Let's see, patty area. I'm sure you can read, so I'll let you read that. Take a picture of it too, throw it in the video. Let's see, let's head down carefully. Zoom back in. Wow. Can't believe it took me this long to come back here. I was probably like eight or nine years old. My dad took me and my sister here. Let's see. Nice. Whoop. I'll slip there. Awesome. All right, let's do some more exploring. All right, just to, uh, for the sake of time, I'll meet you when I see something All interesting. Right, chamber number 13. Can't go in it, so just uh, stick my camera in here for a few seconds. 
Nice. Can't believe something like this is this close, uh, so close to home. All right, over there is what I believe to be the summit of Mystery Hill. This is more of the uh, Equinox site. The Stonehenge, so to speak. Don't know if I'm on the trail proper, but I'll just follow their footsteps. Wow. Incredible. Ooh, we got another uh, cave. Oh, one here too. Site number 18. Nice. Uh, Salem, New Hampshire was like my second hometown growing up. Most, if not all, of my, the major family members on my dad's side of the family lived here. So I spent a lot of time here as a child. Went to a lot of places like Mystery Hill, the uh, old cemeteries, fire museums. I think the one down on uh, Route 97 near that market. A lot of my family is buried in uh, the big cemetery in Salem near Haverhill. Spent a lot of time in my grandmother's house before she moved to my great-grandmother before she died. I like to come back every now and then, reminisce and memories past. Nice. This is probably going to be a long video. Not a long hike by any stretch of the word, but... Just a crap ton to see. And again, if you're going to go here, please heed the rules. Treat this place with respect and courtesy. Be gentle with it. It's a very, very old site. Don't know if it's as old as they claim it is, but it's pretty damn old. So, like I said before, all it takes is one Yahoo to ruin it for everybody else. Oh wow, yeah, I'm definitely getting this on camera. Apparently, part of the trail goes through this uh, cavern type thing. Hopefully you don't get too dark in here, wow. Man, I gotta take some friends here. More to the point, I gotta take my dad back here. This place is like, super cool. Okay, the trail goes that way. Let's see. Let's go a little this way. I see. Got a little lookout out there. So we just came in from there. Nice. Anyway, I'll meet you farther along the uh, site trail. Right. We're in a section right here. About to exit the cavern. Pretty damn cramped in here, but it's freaking cool. Caves, caverns, they fascinate me to no end. Anyway, out we go. Right, somewhere around here is a sacrificial table the native peoples of this area use. This is dictated by that sign. We want to go up on this uh, gazebo first. A little steep, a little icy, but whatever. Okay, over there, I believe, is the uh, <clears throat> the Equinox site and the, or the Solstice site in the good view. Handicap access. God, they provide for people who have uh, walking disabilities. After all, everybody should be able to enjoy a history marvel like this. Not just people with a... Uh, uh, two working legs, so to speak. Everybody should be able to enjoy it. Oh, 
Okay, that is a sacrificial table. I guess the native peoples here gave uh, made sacrifices to appease their gods or uh, something along those lines. We may, th although we may think of as uh, barbaric now, but you got to remember, according to uh, cultural relativism, that was commonplace back then. It was normal. All right, let's see. Anyway, I'll meet you over at the summit of Mystery Hill in the Solstice site. All right, I'd say Mystery Hill is in the back. Now, keep in mind, I've hiked it before, but it happened so long ago and I was so young that I never recorded the day that it actually happened. So I'm counting this as a new ascent. That's some sort of a view out that way. A few more views can be had from the uh, Solstice clear cuts. Out there looks like some sort of high ground, but I don't think it's any higher than what we're on right now. All right, I'm gonna go get my snowshoes. And, uh, what time is it? I still got 45 minutes until closing, so I might check out the uh, archeological area some more. If I choose to do that, I'll meet you there. If not, I'll meet you back at the car. All right, for those of you with a walking disability or in a wheelchair or both, there is handicap access. You wanna go up the side of the fence marked by this snowmobile track. And then you wanna go through this gate as dictated by this sign. Also, if you're a mother with small children, you can wheel their strollers in here. Yep, everybody can enjoy this place. Handicap ramp. Love it. So close to the Manchester Nashua area too. So you can do it in an afternoon if you want. Or if you got the day free, a leisurely full day. Okay. All right, these clear cuts definitely are for the uh, solstices and equinoxes. Let's see. Can you go back through the way you came? Don't see anything saying no, so... We are going to do wow. so. I feel like, for some odd reason, I'm in an uh, ancient Egyptian tomb. Kind of looks like it, too. Really feel like I'm uh, discovering or rediscovering, so to speak, something. Not only is this an excellent place for kids, but a good place for adults or anyone of any age who wants to get out and have some fun out in uh, prehistory. Give this place in two thumbs, two thumbs up. One, two. All right, if I could show you one more thing before I uh, check out. These are some examples of uh, old Native American artifacts and structures. And drying racks, wigwams, or at least the shell of it. Interesting place. Really makes you think that before like the 1500s, 1600s, when the first people started coming to this country, that there were thousands upon thousands of uh, years of history and uh, people, even before those times. So, the, North, the United States and the Americas in general are a very old piece of real estate. People have been living here for way longer than we realize. Now, I could get into a whole nother uh, argument with a little bit of a political spin to it, but I'll save that for uh, when I run for political office. Anyway, I'll meet you back at the uh, car, which is just beyond that lump. All right, last thing I promise, the, uh, this trip would not be complete without taking a look at the America Stonehenge alpacas. Cute little things. Hey, guys. You're gonna be famous on my YouTube channel. All right, I'll meet you back at the uh, car. All right, we're back in the car and on our way home. Overall, this is a, uh, that was a hell of a fun hike. One of the most fun hikes I've ever been on. The chambers, the sacrificial table, the views, the equinox site. I felt like a little kid again, to be honest. 
Although one minor beef, the place is uh, privately owned, and I personally think that something like this shouldn't be. But whatever, what it is, what it is. So round trip distance was probably mile, two miles round trip. Trivial elevation gain maybe a hundred feet. So I have to give this place a two thumbs up overall, definitely without a doubt. So from the America Stonehenge in Salem, see you on my next adventure.